More than a million Americans are battling Parkinson's disease, and April is Parkinson's Awareness Month. An artist in Bucks County is hoping to be an example of what's possible when battling the neurodegenerative disorder. WFMZ's Bo Colt now has her story. At Rocksteady Boxing in Silbury Township, those like Kathy Begg are not only staying fit, they're counteracting symptoms of Parkinson's disease. So you're working on speed and agility, and a lot of people with Parkinson's move more slowly. For Begg, movement itself has become an art form. I started chiseling right after I was diagnosed with PD. Because like, the weight somehow helps. Her work at her New Hope studio overshadows the daily struggle. Her current piece will soon look like this and be part of this apartment railing. This 12 years after being diagnosed with Parkinson's. Afterwards, my art ability came out stronger as my cognitive ability went down. Begg's right side was paralyzed. She couldn't produce art for seven years. That changed when she discovered wet sawdust. Part dust, water, clay, and a secret ingredient, it became her formula for battling her disease. It helps my hand and the strength. And Beg has since put the spotlight on her therapy. Are there any other artists that work this way? this way? Do you know it? I don't think so. Kathy is totally one of a kind. Board member of Bucks County's Arts and Cultural Council, Mandy Hammerstein, and Beg's PR person was so inspired She's having a public sculpting class using Begg's sawdust method. When we talk about art being therapeutic, somehow art transports you to an entirely different existence, place, and that's something that you could bond and share. I mean, it sounds weird to say, but do you think, has, have you become a better artist after Parkinson's disease? Yeah, I think I have, because I'm more patient. You can create a world that's not your world. <laughs> you know, like when I do my sawdust, I do a lot of movement. Proving there's beauty even in illness. Bo Colt now, 69 News.